Do you need to get an e-signature for one of your documents? Let me show you how with JotForm Sign. Hey JotFormers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly and I'm currently in my desktop version of my dashboard. So the first thing you want to do is go up to the top left hand corner where it says my forms. We're going to choose my signed documents. Next, we're gonna choose the green create signed document in the top left corner. And from here, we have two options. We can either upload our own document or we can use a template. For this video, I'm gonna go ahead and use a template. I'm going to use a letter for this one. This one right here is a letter of authorization, but I'm gonna head over to the left-hand side and I'm gonna choose letter from here. And let's take a quick scroll. And I'm gonna go ahead and utilize this income verification letter. Now on the left hand side, if you're familiar with JotForm, you can see we have our add fields option and it's very similar to utilizing it in our form builder. So if we need to drag in anything we need someone to fill out, all we need to do is just click and drag it in. And now this area is going to require a signature. I'm going to go ahead and trash this one and we can see whenever we click on any of these orange fields, we can see right here, it says me. Now, if we need to change this to someone else, multiple parties, all we need to do is we can either add a new role or we can change it to employee. So just for this example, let's go ahead and change this top section to be the employee to fill out in the bottom section, we'll change it to be me. Now, if we scroll down, we can see this bottom section now is going to require my signature. Now from here, we can always click on the gear icon, which is going to pull up the properties for that specific field. And we can see, we can change the assignee here. We can also change the field label. We can make it required or not. And then we can also change the sub labels as well. So now that we have the assignees made, let's head up and let's preview this document. So as we can see in the top left-hand corner, we are previewing all roles. So if I scroll down, we can see the blue, and we can also see the orange. Now, if we wanna change this to be able to see all the fields that maybe the employee needs to fill out, it'll just populate those fields. So now we can see that these bottom ones are empty. So let's go ahead and turn the preview off and let's head to the next tab, which is settings. If we need to change the document title, we can do it here as well. Let's go to email settings. We have our email subject, which is your signature is requested. We can also put a message and this message is going to be seen by everyone who is going to be signing this document. So I'm going to go ahead and put, please sign ASAP. Perfect. And if we need any integrations, we can always come down here and add one of our integrations. So let's head up to the next tab, which is send. Now here is where we can really personalize this. So let's say that the employee's name is Kim and we'll go ahead and put their email address in. And the second one, we can see it showing me as the employer. Now, if we would like the employee to enter a password or anyone to enter in a password, all we need to do is click on the key and we'll enter the passcode, we'll just say is one, two, three. And we can also set a private message just for that one person. So let's go ahead and just tell them what that passcode is. Passcode is one, two, three. Perfect. And so here we can see that it's lit in blue. So telling us that we do have a passcode and we do have a message. Now, as of right now, if I press send to sign, both parties are going to get this document to sign at the same time. If I want them to sign one after another, we're going to turn on the signing order. So this now means that the employee is going to fill out that top section first. And once they are completed and they have signed the document, then the employer, that next person will get it to verify and sign and submit. Next, if we head over to the next tab, which is options, we can set an expiration date. We can send automated reminder email. So let's say, we want to send it every two days. We can have the signer be able to delegate the signing ability to someone else. And we can also CC recipients. So I'm going to go ahead and head back to recipients and let's go ahead and send to sign and see what this looks like within both emails. So here is the email for me as the employee. We can see we have that general message please sign ASAP, that's going to everyone. And then we also have the private message just to me, letting me know the passcode. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose to review and sign document and we'll enter in that passcode, then validate. And then we can see all the fields that our employee needs to sign. Let's go ahead and choose the date. 
and because the other fills are required, I'm gonna go ahead and skip those for now, but I am good. Let's go ahead and sign and complete and accept and send. Perfect, so now that the employee has signed, let's head over to the employer's email, which is my email, and see what that looks like. So we can see that general message, please sign ASAP. So let's go ahead and review and sign the document. And we can see the employee's information up here at the top. But if we scroll down, this is where we are going to sign. And for the sign function, we can either type it out. And if we want to do it that way, we can change the style of our signature as well as the color. And we can sign and complete, or we can draw our signature if we wanna do that. So sign and complete and accept and send. Good deal. So now let's head back over inside JotForm and let's take a look at what this looks like within the tables. So from here, I'm gonna go to the top left-hand corner. Right now we're in the sign builder and we wanna head to the tables for this. And if we scroll to the right, we can see all of the information that we need. Now we can also, from tables, head over to our inbox and we can see all of the documents that required our signature here in this space. So right now we have this income verification letter and if we take a scroll down, we get to see the entire audit trail. We get to see where it went and how much time it spent in those spaces. Now we can see across the top multiple tabs as well. So if we have things that are waiting for our signature, others completed, canceled, or declined. And if we wanted to download this, all we need to do is click on the download signed document and we have our PDF right down here. And it's as simple as that. If you have any questions about utilizing JotForm Sign for e-signatures and your documents, let us know, and I'll see you next time.